Hi, and thank you for watching the Crew Leader Training for VBS 2015. This Crew Leader Training will be for both the elementary Everest crews and also the preschool peak crews. So if you're wondering if you're watching the right video, yes you are. Thank you so much for volunteering your time to be a crew leader. This is a wonderful, huge event and we cannot do it without people like you. So first of all, thank you very, very much. Let's talk for a minute about meeting your crews. The first night, we will have you stationed already in the sanctuary. You'll have the same pew designated with your crew leader name, and you'll also have a color just for some um, reasons to keep things organized. You'll already be in the sanctuary, and then we'll have some volunteers who greet your um, crew members and walk them to you. So I anticipate the second night you'll just also be in the sanctuary and parents will be able to um, bring their kids to you. But that first night we will um, instruct the kids, we'll walk them right to you. The stations for VBS this year are as follows. Everyone um, will start in the sanctuary for base camp sing and play. Then we'll have a rotation of Imagination Station, which is science, Crafting with Cliff, and then um, Kid Vid Cinema, Bible Explorations, and that's also where the kids will learn about the mission. Glacier Games, which we hope to have outside. If the weather is bad, I'll let you know and we'll have that in St. Michael's Hall. And then at the end of the night, Summit Celebrations. Now for Everest, the elementary VBS, that rotation will, you'll go to base camp, have two station rotations, and then in the middle, everyone will go to Kid Vid Cinema in, in St. Michael's Hall. And what will happen is, um, you'll go with your crew over to a pile of logs that, that are made out of paper sacks. And each crew member will grab a log. You will grab the the fire, which is made out of tissue paper. And then you'll find a spot on the floor in St. Michael's Hall to sit with your crew. And that's you sitting around your campfire. And then we'll watch the Kid Vid Cinema together. And then you'll have discussion questions, discussion prompts in your crew leader bag that'll help you talk about what they just saw. And then after Kid Vid Cinema is over, you'll go to the next two rotations and then end the night in Summit Celebration you will have that schedule in your crew leader bag. Now for preschool peak, you'll start in the sanctuary and then go downstairs and you'll spend your whole time downstairs in our Sunday school hallway. And um, your, the difference with you is you'll go to, there is no imagination station for um, preschool peak. There will be some science activities that night, but they'll be infused in what's going on with the kids that night. So there's no station like that. Um, but you'll have crafting, Bible explorations and glacier games. In the middle for you, um, you'll have about 45 minutes in the double room where kids will be able to go from center to center. And those centers will um, pertain to our theme. And um, that's the difference for you. And again, you also will have your schedule in your crew leader bags. Rooms will be staffed with teachers and teacher assistants. So your main focus is just to take care of your crew. We will ask you sometimes maybe to step in and pass things out if needed, but we hope that you will just have your focus on your crew. The next thing I'd like to talk to you about is some management. And by management, I mean um, what happens if one of your crew members has to go to the bathroom or they get hurt or if you have some behavior issues. So first of all, if you have a crew member who gets hurt, that's no problem. Um, you'll have band-aids and things to take care of that in your crew leader bag. If you need a first aid kit, that will be located in a central location in the hallway. So if you go out in the hallway, you'll see it sitting right there, whether you're in Preschool Peak or Everest. Uh, we don't, of course, we never want to hope that anything is going to happen, but just in case there is an accident or something, this is how I'd like you to handle that. First of all, if you have to call 911, I want you to send someone to do that on a landline. EMT will get here quicker if it's on a landline, so please try not to use your cell for that. Take care of the situation the best that you can, and find me. Send someone to find me, but your first responsibility is to call 911. Now, we will have little things that happen. 
And so for that, um, anything that you feel like a parent needs to know, and we're going to err on the side of caution with that, I want you to pull out the accident form that's in your crew leader bag and fill that out at some time before the end of the night and give it to me. I will make a copy and give one to the parent and keep the other for us. Again, we don't think anything like this is going to happen, but it's best for all of us to be prepared and know in our heads the plan of action if something does happen. We also have some of our kids who have some allergies. Um, just know that if you have um, a student in your crew that has allergies, um, that will be in their name tag, and I'll, we'll look at the name tags in a little bit, so you'll know exactly who, you're, who you have in your crew and how to handle that. In the name tag, it'll have what they're allergic to and the plan of action if something happens. If you have a crew member who has to go to the bathroom, do let them go. I know it's going to be um, tempting to say, oh, we only have so much time, I want you to hold it. No, we really want to let our kids go. Now, you can kind of see if maybe one of their friends just went. It's okay to ask them to wait a minute, but we are going to let our kids go to the bathroom. Um, if your kids need a drink, try to stagger that with other groups. And do know that um, for Elementary Everest, in the KidVid Cinema that happens in St. Michael's Hall, we will have a drink station, so kids will be able to get a drink right in the middle of VBS. We won't have snacks, so um, you for sure will need to eat beforehand, and then I'll be sending an email out to parents reminding to have a, a nice um, meal beforehand because we don't serve snacks as part of VBS. Let's talk for a minute about um, behavior. So our crews this year are made up of multi-age crews, and that's going to be your golden ticket to great behavior because you'll have a kindergartner, first grader, second grader, third grader, fourth grader, and fifth grader in your crew. And of course, right now I'm talking about Everest Elementary. Preschool crews will be made up of also multi-age groups, but you will have kids, but you'll have um, three-year-olds, four-year-olds, and five-year-olds who have not yet attended kindergarten. So first of all, the behavior is going to really fix itself because the kindergartners don't want to misbehave in front of the fifth graders. And the fifth graders and the fourth graders want to be great role models for the younger kids. So um, positive peer pressure will um, take hold there and that'll be great. You really don't have to guide the positive peer pressure, that'll take care of itself. You can just kind of sit back and watch that wonderfulness happen. If you do have a student who's having a hard time um, that night, let's just first think about why. Um, VBS happens at the end of the night, so kids are tired, and especially by Wednesday you might have some kids who just can't seem to handle themselves. Um, it's going to be really important that we as the adults involved in VBS just kind of step back and put ourselves in their shoes. We may have had time to choose to take a nap, but um, kids are really on adult schedules, so they may be tired. They may be hungry even if they did eat dinner. Our kids are growing fast, so they could be tired, they could be hungry, um, they could be acting out because this is just a really exciting time. So what we're going to do um, is I have three things that I want you to try. The first thing I want you to do is simply redirect their behavior. Um, you don't really need to get down to their level and, and make eye contact and scold them in any way. No, don't worry, you don't have to do that. But what I want you to do is redirect their behavior. And that's going to be as simple as if you're sitting, say, um, in KidVid Cinema, and one of your crew leaders is doing something that, that doesn't fit with what's supposed to be happening. They're poking their friend or something like that. All you have to do is say, hey, Brian, oh my gosh, look what's happening on the video. That is so cool. And that's as simple as it is. You've just redirected your, their behavior. Um, it'll also work if you have a student who's um, feeling a little sad that night or missing their parents or, or seems a little bit off. You can kind of help redirect their mood by saying, hey, did you like that music? Or what was the best part of your day? And so the first thing I want you to do is redirection. The second thing I'd like you to try, if redirection isn't working, I'd like you to use the four questions that we use in Sunday school. And if you're not familiar with those, don't worry, they're going to be in your crew leader bag. And I'm also going to put a copy on the back of your name tag. The four questions are, what are you doing? What are you supposed to be doing? What's going to happen if you don't do it? So what are you going to do? And so we'll use those four questions because it really gives the kids a chance to make their own decision and own their behavior and take a time to think about the right choice. The third option 
If you have a kid who just needs a break, it's just not going well for them, they're going to find um, one of the people who's in the hallway, one of our floaters, and they're going to find me. And I'll just spend a few minutes with that crew member and just help them reset their behavior. And chances are something's going on and, and they don't want to share it in the group or they just need a break or they need to go on a walk or something. If they don't come back, you'll know that they're going to be my helper for the rest of the night. But hopefully they'll be back in a few minutes. So redirection, the four questions, and then if they need a break from the group, you can find me and I'll, I'll handle that for you. Um, you want to stay with your group as much as you can, so even if you're sending someone to the bathroom, utilize your fourth and fifth graders, your older kids. Walk them to the door. Um, there's going to be people in the hallway that take them to the bathroom for you, so your job is to just stay with the crew the whole time. So if you need me, there's people to find me in the hallway. You just stay with your crew. So each night before VBS starts, I'd like to meet all crew members in the sanctuary at 5.15. Our night starts at 5.30, so if we meet at 5.15, that gives us a good 10 minutes to talk about anything that needs to be talked about, and then you'll be there as, as kids gather. That'll be a quick meeting, but plan on that. We're going to meet in the second row of the sanctuary at 5.15. So that concludes our training for you to be a crew leader. Again, thank you so much. We could not do this without you, nor would we want to do this without you. So thank you so, so very much. I will be sending out an email to all crew leaders ahead of time. So if I've forgotten anything or something comes up, you'll have some things um, from me that you'll want to look for in your email. Again, don't forget that we're going to meet at 5.15 every night, including the first night. So please be in the sanctuary in the second row, um, ready to meet on the first night. Thank you again, and let's go Everest VBS.